welcome to my channel again this is dr emmanuel and today i want us to look at to do a very quick revision on the divisions of the mediastinum and let's start by saying the mediastinum is a cavity that lies within the two pleura the two lungs um, and of course it includes a large number of structures so looking within the thoracic cavity most of the you know, thoracic cavity constitutes the mediastinum so between the lungs on both sides um, so the space that lies between the lungs on both sides okay essentially constitutes the mediastinum and that mediastinum is divided made mainly into two sides so we've got the superior mediastinum i've got the inferior mediastinum so if you have an imaginary line if you draw an imaginary line that moves across the sternal angle or the sternal manubral you know angle or the angle of louis and you trace that imaginary line posteriorly to go through the fourth intervertebral disc so that imaginary line divides this mediastinal mediastinum or mediastinal cavity into a superior mediastinum and an inferior mediastinum now you have the inferior mediastinum divided further into the anterior mediastinum the middle mediastinum and the posterior mediastinum essentially that division is done by the pericardial sac or the pericardium so anything in front of your pericardium is the anterior mediastinum anything within the pericardium the pericardium itself and the contents within make up your middle mediastinum and anything behind your pericardium constitutes your posterior mediastinum so looking at this image we can decipher structures that should lie within the anterior mediastinum the middle mediastinum or the posterior mediastinum and structures that should lie within the superior mediastinum so let's look at it let's give a guess let's just mention a few within the anterior mediastinum here usually we have a thymus which is a lymphoid tissue uh, we have a thymus there within our anterior mediastinum and um, in our middle mediastinum you can see we have the pericardium we have the heart you know we have um, the ascending limb of your aortic arch so the ascending limb of your aortic arch is in your middle mediastinum and on this image you can see that the arch of the aorta itself is in the superior mediastinum and then the descending thoracic aorta you know is in the posterior mediastinum we can see that the trachea most of the trachea is in the superior mediastinum and then when it divides into the right and left you know principal bronchi those bronchi and then extend into the middle mediastinum we can see that the esophagus the proximal part of the esophagus lies within the superior mediastinum and then of course it continues inferiorly to course through the posterior mediastinum and it gets to pierce the diaphragm and gets into the abdomen so this image gives us a very good clue on the major structures that lie within the various divisions of the mediastinal cavity so moving further so just to say this image um, i think i got this particular image from the internet uh, this is not from uh, this is not from the atlas of human anatomy by frank Metter. this is from the internet um, i think this is also from the internet but then i got this image and this one from the human from the atlas of human anatomy by frank Metters, just to reference them so a very short reading in the time i said is a partition between the two pleural cavities and the lungs it includes a large number of structures it's divided into a superior part by this imaginary line and an inferior mediastinum and we can see that the inferior mediastinum is further divided into an anterior mediastinal cavity a middle mediastinal cavity and a posterior mediastinal cavity and just in keeping with what we've seen in the previous image we can see that the superior mediastinum houses part of the esophagus part of the trachea the arch of our aorta you can see the arch of our aorta 
big branches of the aortic arch you know the big branches of the aortic arch are there like the you know um the right and left um subclavian arteries you know your internal in your 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 internal carotids and all of that you know lie within the superior uh, mediastinum the common carotid sorry um brachiocephalic or innominate veins you know when it brachiocephalic veins or your innominate veins you know are formed by the junction between your internal car internal jugular vein and your subclavian vein so those brachiocephalic veins actually lie within the superior mediastinum the upper half of your superior vena cava superior vena cava is formed by you know the junction or combination uh, of the right and left brachiocephalic veins in the superior mediastinum so that proximal part of your svc also lies within your superior um mediastinum so the phrenic nerves parts of the phrenic nerves parts of the vagus nerves all course through the superior mediastinum and if we look at the mid the, the inferior mediastinum we have the anterior parts which usually has a, the thymus um, and we have the middle the middle mediastinum we can see the pericardium we can see the heart um, our pulmonary trunks you know the bron the principal bronchi bifurcation of your trachea so the trachea bifurcates into the right and left principal bronchi um yeah so the upper part of your inferior vena cava which is like the distal portion the distal part where it enters the right you know joins the right atrium uh the lower half of your svc where it drains into the right atrium so those all lie within your middle mediastinum and of course the hilum of the middle of the of the you know um the mediastinum the high the long the hyla of the lungs the right and left hyla and the bronco the hyla lymph nodes or the bronco pulmonary lymph nodes all lie within these um middle mediastinum and when you look at your posterior mediastinum we can see the descending of course the descending limb of or the descending thoracic aorta we can see these two parts of our esophagus the azygos and the hemiazygos veins you know lie in the posterior mediastinum including the sympathetic trunk so let's look at this image this image is an extract from the atlas of human anatomy by frank netters so looking at this image we can see that i have personally put this imaginary line this blue line which moves from the angle of louis the sternomanubrial angle you know to the fourth vertebral fourth intervertebral disc somewhere there. not the fourth three but the fourth intervertebral or the fourth thoracic vertebral body some may say the fourth intervertebral disc you know just an imaginary line there anything above that line is you know your superior mediastinum and everything below is your inferior mediastinum that's our thymus you can see the thymus in the anterior mediastinum it also lies part of it's also in the superior mediastinum okay the thymus which is a lymphoid tissue you can see our heart and pericardium the major structures within our middle mediastinum we can see the distal parts or the upper parts of our inferior vena cava we can see the distal parts or the lower part of our superior vena cava okay we can see our trachea in the superior vena cava in the superior mediastinum that's this is a right principal bronchus okay and you see the hyla structures or the peribronchial structures we have our peribronchial lymph nodes or hyla lymph nodes we have the uh, the right pulmonary veins we have the um that's the right pulmonary artery as the right principal or the right main bronchus okay and those are our bronchopulmonary lymph nodes also called the hyla lymph nodes so they are in the middle mediastinum coming to the posterior mediastinum we have we have our esophagus we have the azygos vein you know we have the sympathetic trunk and these branches and rami okay so this is just a very quick revision of how the mediastinum is 
divided so this is the right part of the major steinum you have something almost the same uh, on the left side just a slight difference in the structure of the um, the bronchial hilum hilum of the lungs looking here you can also see um, you can see here the azygos the vagus nerve uh, you know so if you look there we'll see the vagus nerve okay vagus nerve is just causing behind the hilum of the as the left vagus nerve cranial nerve 10 okay so it's in the posterior mediastinum we have uh you can have gangliomas okay you can have gangliomas um sympathetic chain you know gangliomas or neuromas in your posterior in your posterior um, mediastinum you can have a thyme you know a tumor of the thymus like a lymphoma a thymic lymphoma you know in your anterior mediastinum then you can also have an ectopic thyroid tissue you know in your anterior mediastinum these are just some clinical uh you know import importance some clinically relevant information so these images you know help us to just have a quick revision of how the mediastinum is compartmentalized into the superior aspect and the mid inferior aspect and the middle mediastinum is further divided into the anterior middle and posterior mediastinum okay so if you think this video has been useful hit the like button and subscribe to have access to future videos where we'll be explaining you know other things uh, you know to boost our memory to boost our understanding you know tips that are very good very close to your exam when you don't have time to read a lot of things you can just watch these videos and get you know quick insights Thanks for watching.